Hello, and welcome to the Dan's Courses YouTube channel. My name is Dan Albergetti, and I'm a computer information systems instructor specializing in computer networking, computer security, and computer web applications. I created this YouTube channel four years ago so I could better communicate with my students and record key lectures and demonstrations that they would need to revisit and look at over and over again in order to be successful. It's been a great ride and over the last four years I've been really blessed with all the communications and messages and comments and all of the email that I've received from people all over the world. It's truly been amazing. So this is an introduction to my channel. I thought I'd mention a few things that I'm interested in and working on right now. What I'm excited about. What I'm excited about this year is the new Cisco Academy CCNA 5 curriculum. Through YouTube, I was able to connect with the Cisco Academy and actually help and create some materials that are being used in the current CCNA 5 Academy curriculum. So that was really exciting for me and did this this summer. Um, I'm also excited about, let's see here, oh, my new Raspberry Pi. I've got a Raspberry Pi here that I've put in a little clear acrylic case. And the Raspberry Pi is neat. It's a $30 computer that runs a Linux operating system. The operating system is located on an SD card. It's got HDMI out. It's got um, video out, audio out, two USB ports. It's got an Ethernet port. And you power it up with a micro USB phone charger. So you can use just any old standard phone charger with a micro USB uh, micro USB B connection right here and you can power up your Raspberry Pi alright also for my Raspberry Pi I bought a USB hub and you want to get a USB hub that is powered so you can see this is a USB hub it's got extra USB ports but it's powered device so it'll power up and that's important because the Raspberry Pi needs uh, the extra power to power up additional uh, USB devices. For instance, like this USB wireless NIC that I plug in right here, and now I can put my Raspberry Pi on the network wirelessly. I've also got for it, let's see, a USB keyboard, a USB mouse, and you're also going to need an HDMI cable to your uh, computer monitor. Now my monitor over here is an older monitor. It's got a VGA, but it also has a DVI hookup. So I bought a special cable, uh, HDMI on one side, and on the other side is a DVI. And you can get this at any kind of specialty type store that sells computer cable, order it online, etc. I'm also excited about my new servers. I'll show them to you here. I've got two servers here that I've worked with and just set up this summer. I've got a virtualization server running VMware ESXi. I put in a 12-core AMD processor, 32 gigs of RAM, and I've got fiber optic link to my other server, and my other server is a network attached storage device. It's a NAS running Nexenta Store, which is an excellent free option. Uh, there's a community edition at Nexenta Store for running and creating your own NAS, and I've got 13 terabytes of disks inside of that um, server. So I've got my my NAS storage system, I've got my virtualization server, I've got my Raspberry Pi, I've got the new Cisco CCNA 5 curriculum that we're working with, um, and I've got a few other things that I'm excited about. My brand new IPv6 book, IPv6 Fundamentals by Rick Graziani. I like that. I picked that up this summer. And so uh, it's looking like it's going to be a good year. I hope to do a lot of video tutorials this year, and I hope uh, people subscribe and uh, keep checking it out. 